you feel like you're having trouble getting your head through that space? Hold on. Like lift, get a little more opening here. Cause you got your head through there, but it was barely up. Get a little bit more opening and then your head will have space to come up. That was better. And you gotta stay on the legs. You're coming up and your hands are up here, right? I can just pull you straight up. I can just pull you up here. Like you get the upper weights, sometimes it's hard to cut across. They're like blocking, their hips are so wide. Just sit them back, just stay on the single, sit them back. First thing you do when you come up, boom, boom, right back. And then you can cut off. Sometimes you're shooting head outside. Hold on, come here. I'm sorry, head inside with bigger guys. You're just dropping down. It's a lot of drop downs without hitting your knee. I'm going, I'm staying with head outside. They're gonna throw my head inside, all right? I'm gonna use that momentum. Come here. You, you, get, you know what I'm talking about? Like use the momentum from him throwing your head in to just cut to this single. Boom, shelf. So he's throwing my head in, he's gonna sprawl at the same time. He's dropping his elbow, Rocco's dropping his left elbow down, cut the corner shelf. All right, I go head outside, he throws it in. Just use that momentum, cut the corner shelf. All right, one, two, three. It is, it's, yeah, it's like them forcing you to do a knee pull. It, it's like, if you feel it, if you feel it coming, that's like, if you have a good knee pull, you just feel, drop right into it. It's so much easier to do when you nat when you shoot the knee pull often, you know what I mean? If I don't shoot a knee pull, it's like, it's weird. Now it's like, he changed my momentum, but I'm not used to it, so I get stopped. I get stuck here. Keep fighting your head up. He, you, fight, you, he, you fight your head up here, yeah, he throws it in, I just use that momentum. Drop your shoulder, your left elbow. You keep finishing with a lace. You're in freestyle mode? I know, I was doing that. Wait on the foot. Behind his arm here. Okay. You're at 215, right? I would I would stay up on my feet if I can. So just use your underhooks to get this guy's shoulder. But like once he's falling, go get that other leg. Go get it. Go get it. Boom. Yeah. I think we did this this week. Uh, eight minutes in the front headlock, you're gonna drill four, three and switch, four minutes, drag outs, clear out, attack, or carry. Okay? All right? Guy that's on the top side of that, while he's going, I'm chasing angles. I'm bouncing him, all right? I'm giving him a good look. Some of you guys just circle. You just circle. You gotta beat this shoulder. If I'm circling, I don't stop circling, I just pull. All right, got it? Eight minutes, one, two, three. And then like, some guys will hit that peak out and then they just like, trying to sit there. You gotta get your feet in the mat and drive. Like you just did a pretty good job there, so. them together too, like do a carry and he defends it, then go drag out. Hey, nice, that was a nice peek out. You just gotta drive. Once you get through that space, drive. Put your feet in the mat and drive. Right. Chase both sides, shucks. If he comes to his feet, I can attack ankle, pull myself into high crotch, fall into a single. If you're gonna do that big jump, it's good. Just be ready for, to, if he starts to turn, to switch to this leg, just a single on that. Leg. So if I wanna like put pressure down on him, I'll bring my chest here. If I wanna pressure into him, I slide my chest. Uh, but you just slide down and now push into him. You know, I can just sit here. Yeah, and I can just kind of sit here and push until he does something. If you don't do anything, just take your go behind. He's gonna start pushing back into you. And you can use that to get your stuff going. I'm going left, I'm going left, I'm going left. If he's not facing up with me, just score. If he faces all the way up with me, like he gets his head and shoulders back square, then I'll jump to the other side.
it's better. Nice. And then if you're getting stuck, going right to left, left, bounce, right. If I still don't have it, bounce again, go left. Just throw a bounce in between going left and right. Sometimes we drill top, bottom, and you kind of just sit on top of them. It's not a good feel, right? But he's got to pick it up a little bit on top, right? Try and mat return him, right? I should be finding hand control on the way up so I don't have to fight that, that grip. Balance, right? If you, it's five seconds for him to mat return me. Balance, post on his legs. If he goes to step in front of me to lift, post on the legs. Squat, rotate, okay? All right, a couple minutes of this and we'll bring it in again. Uh, one, two, three.